All right. Hello. So this is my next uh, free agency S prediction video. And since I've been uh, pretty bad at using my time, I decided to just start doing two first. I thought this would be the best kind of two for one. So I'll be going over Bruce Irving. Irvin. And um, Russell Okung. Uh, uh, Bruce Irvin, uh, pretty good athlete, uh, not a great football player yet. I think he's good, not great. He, uh, he definitely is a really athletic, you know, pass rusher, and I think he could be really good. It's just he's not that good. I don't think he gets a butt ton of money. So, we'll see. I like him. I think he'd work really well in most defenses as an athletic pass rusher. And uh, Russell Okung is one of the better left tackles in the game. So, I think he will find a home quick. He'll definitely find a home very quickly. In my mind, um... There are a lot of teams that obviously need a good pass rush and good left tackles. So, uh, there's also the potential that they both come back. Uh, Okung definitely has a better shot of coming back than Irvin, in my mind. But uh, I guess just start here. Uh, the two obvious ones for Bruce Irvin, I'm going to start with Jacksonville. Jacksonville has a ton of money. They need a lot of pass rush help because that defense just isn't there yet. Uh, and uh, lining up two athletic outside pass rushers in him and Dante Fowler would be really ridiculous in my mind. Because Fowler and him are both really good speed rushers. So that would be interesting to watch. Uh, next, Atlanta. Atlanta just needs defense in general, so I mean, some pass rush can definitely help them out. So, and plus, b with both of those teams, he would be playing for his former defensive coordinators. So that's also a big, you know, plus for him. And then those two are like the real big ones, and those, if it's not one of those two, I'd be surprised. Especially Jacksonville, because they have a bunch of money. Uh, San Diego needs defense everywhere. They need a lot of things. San Diego is just not a good team right now. Uh, definitely need defense, need pass rush. I mean, their best pass rusher was Melvin uh, Ingram, who's good. But, I mean, you need someone rushing off the other side to create more pressure. So. Uh, up next, Indianapolis. Uh, Indianapolis also could really use pass rush. I don't even know who their leading sack leader was. Leading sack leader, solid, solid sentence there. So, um, I have no clue who led the Colts' team with sacks. I doubt it was a lot, maybe like 10. Uh, Dallas can just use an outside linebacker in general. I think they can need a, uh, a right or a left, I can't remember. Whichever one they don't line up Sean Lee at at some point, because I know he's considered an inside, but I'm pretty sure they line him up at outside most of the time. So it's him and Lamar Houston, and in the middle they have someone. Or not Lamar Houston, what am I saying? But, uh, no, they need someone, you know, on the outside who can rush the passer, because Sean Lee's not the pass rusher. He's the, uh... He's that guy who's going to make tackle. I almost dropped my controller. That's why I called the timeout. Uh, San Fran could line up someone across from Aaron Lynch, who is, in my mind, going to develop into a really good pass rusher soon. So that could help out him a lot, especially someone who's been in the league for a few years. Plus, I see Lynch is more of a power runner rusher. So I would compliment Bruce Irvin well. So... 
uh, the Giants. Giants need help in a lot of places on defense. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised with the Giants. Definitely need pass rush with JPP probably out of the door. Wow, this one went really fast compared to the other one. I'm actually a little disappointed. I don't know why this one's going so quickly. And the last one I did went like, took like an hour it felt like. But um, with Jason Pierre-Paul probably out of the, the uh, out of there soon. Oh, I suck. But um. The defense accepts the penalty. I, yeah, but they could probably use another like uh, finesse type guy like Jason Pierre Paul was. Third down after the penalty. So I don't know. Pierre Paul's good. I guarantee he finds a home. Makes the catch. He's brought down that uh up next I the Jets. Uh the Jets have seen outside linebackers. I don't think they have anyone who's really that good. Outside-wise. And I feel like Todd Bowles, or Bowles, whatever his name is, he could really make uh, Irving into a really good finesse rusher. So, a really good rusher just in general. I just specify finesse because that's how I see him. And then last, I have Washington. Line him up across from Ryan Kerrigan, who's a solid rusher in his own right. Would be very interesting to see. Uh, him and Kerrigan could really, you know, cause some issues for opposing uh, tackles. So uh, if I had to pick a team, like right now, I'd say Jacksonville. Jacksonville needs a lot of work on that defense still. But um, speaking of tackles, that's my amazing segue into my next guy, uh, Russell Okung, the uh, left tackle. Uh, he's solid. I don't think he's like one of the top tier guys. I mean, he's maybe like the tier below top tier. So he's he's good. I'd say Whitworth is in that top tier because since we're playing against him, that's kind of the guys I look at as top tier. But he's good. And I'm just going with teams that need you know, guys to protect their quarterbacks and I, that I don't think will draft one. So you won't see Tennessee on here. or the, Well, I have the Chargers on here because they need help at both tackle spots. So I guess we'll start with San Diego because they need help at both tackle spots because both their tackles aren't that great. I'm pretty sure... Uh, man, who is it? It's King Dunlap and someone else. So, I mean, those guys, that guy's not that good, and I can't even think of the other guy. So, I mean, there are guys there that are just not that good, especially to protect the franchise guy like Phil Rivers. And then uh, after that, I have the Bears. You know what? I love it. The second I start, like, you know, the second I start, like, picking up the speed to try and save time so I'm not wasting too much, the game slows itself down and just makes me look like an idiot. And now I have to waste more time because I don't want to fucking sit here and just play. And not talk about anything important. So, I mean, I don't know. But Okung's good. I, I don't know where he ends up. But I'd say I don't have any, like, real, like, major prediction. I'm just saying teams that I might. Um... I'll talk about San Diego. I mean, they're they're not too good yet. San Diego needs a lot of help on the uh, defense there. Goddamn block in the back. Um, San Diego really needs help offensively on that line. So... That's why I have to say about San Diego. Uh, there's probably a, no chance he stays in uh, Seattle. I think he leaves. Or no, actually, no. That was talking about Bruce Irving. If anyone stays between the two, it's going to be... Um, 
It's going to be uh, Okung because he's really the only left tackle that they could probably trust on the roster right now. So if it's going to be anyone on the roster currently, Okung's going to stay. But if he does leave, I also have the Bears. Uh, the Bears just needed help on the offensive line. I mean, they have to keep Jay Cutler upright, which they did pretty well. I could see them spending money, though, on a guy who can... Uh, who could be an upgrade over Bushrod, who is their current left tackle, and just, you know, just step in, be good at what he does, and really help the Bears, you know, Bears out in general. Uh, let me open up my phone again. Oh, the Dolphins. Dolphins need offensive line help. I mean... They really couldn't do much last season or this season. I guess it would have been without uh, they uh couldn't you know give Tannehill enough time to really make good reads. That might have just been the way the offensive line was coached by their idiot head coach Joe Philbin. Joe Philbin just was not a good coach. God damn it. Uh, definitely can use help on the offensive line, though. Definitely a team to keep an eye on for uh, for Russell Okung if he hits the free market or free agency market. Thanks for the pass interference. Oh, bravo. Bravo. He totally did not, you know, ruin the route run. I'm just skipping over, though, because no one wants to watch the punt. Um... Dolphins need offensive line help. They also need some other positions. So, it's definitely not the only thing they need. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm opening up my phone again. Uh, Carolina, after watching that Super Bowl, they definitely need help at the offensive tackle because Orr and Remmers could not do anything against top flight pass rushers. Like, uh, Von Miller and uh, Demarcus Ware and such. They couldn't do anything. I mean, they they basically shouldn't just not been there. That's how poorly they played in my eyes. So Okun could obviously step in and take over from either Remmers or uh, Remmers or Orr. I probably say Orr. Remmers played. Better. Plus, I don't think they can get by with Michael Orr. They might. They might not. I don't know. I just don't think Orr played well at all in the Super Bowl. I mean, he got just shredded by Von Miller, which, I mean, it's Von Miller. He's one of the best players in the game. But, I don't know. And last team I have, I don't know what I'm going to talk about for the next, like, four minutes or so. But the last team I have is the Vikings. Uh, Matt Khalil can't stay healthy. I mean, he's good when he's healthy. But, I mean, if he can't stay good for an entire season, then what's the point? I'm pretty sure his rookie contract's up this next season, this season, one or the other. His rookie contract's done soon. So he's definitely, he's probably on his way out. Uh, Okun can step in, be the starter, and keep Bridgewater upright. Because, again, Okun is good. So uh, those are teams, I think, for Irving and uh, Okun. And since I did it last time, I might as well talk about uh, just some draft people I like. I don't know. I talked about Miles Jack and Jalen Smith a little last time. That was terrible. So the game didn't let me hand off. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, talk about. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know much about some of these other guys that are out there right now. So, um, I don't know. Let's talk about the quarterbacks. Let's talk about Jared Goff. I haven't watched much uh, film on him, I guess, is the word I can use for this right now. 
I haven't watched much on him yet because I guess I'm really focusing on people Pittsburgh is going to probably be targeting. So I've been looking at a lot of corners and, you know, safeties, uh, tight ends as of now because Heath Miller has retired, which hurts. Dude, that's probably on me because I switched characters. Oh, nice. Characters. I switched players. I thought the game was going to try and dick me over there. Uh, I haven't watched much. I could talk about, I could talk about Eli Apple, I guess, who I watched a couple tapes on per se but uh, I I truly think Eli Apple is probably going to be the guy for Pittsburgh if they decide to go corner he'll probably be the guy available he's uh he's good in coverage which I like he's just not a hitter I watched his game against uh, Northern Iowa or Nebraska Northern Nebraska or something like that where they almost lost they only won it by like they won by like 10 points, and the only reason they did is because they came back at the end against like an FCS team pretty much. So they did not play well. But uh, I watched him in that game and in the uh, uh, Michigan State game. The Michigan State game, I'll start with because that was the worst of the two. He didn't look – he looked good in coverage. He played – he had good footwork. You know, he moved well. It's just like on those short comeback routes and whatnot, you know, the curls and all that, he looked lost at points. Like he looked like he just couldn't get it done. Which, God damn it. Um, <laughs> but uh, Jeremy, uh, the, not Jeremy, Hill, uh, Eli Apple is good. Uh, he's a covered guy. He's only going to get better from here. I heard he's gotten better in all of his games that he's played pretty much. But uh, in the uh, Michigan State game, he just didn't wow me. He had good footwork. He was quick. He just didn't want to tackle, which I know could be an issue, especially in a city like Pittsburgh, which values, you know, rough, tough, you know, grinded out football. And if he's going to try and be a finesse guy who's going to just, you know, play corner to play corner, try and, you know, knock balls out and run with receivers, that's not going to work for too long. So, I don't 100% know yet. I like him as a coverage man, and I really think he could be, you know, a good corner, and I think he could be a starter in year one. And uh, make an impact. He has good ball skills. You know, he knows what he's doing. It's just watching him, he doesn't seem like he wants to make the tackles that he, like, should be helping make. Like, he should be helping with tackles that, you know, look like, oh, this guy might be able to break out. Well, then help out and, you know, help make the tackle. Instead, he just stands there. At one point, I saw him watch a guy make a tackle and watch him stand there and clap, which I didn't like. That's a bit of an issue I have with players from Ohio State in general, is that they kind of seem like they think they're better than a lot of people. I feel like Ohio State players are cocky, like extremely. So, I don't know. Dude, are you serious? Like, I'm not even getting time to throw it. This is a joke. But uh, I like Eli Apple. I think he can be good. I think he could be solid. I don't think he's going to be, like, the the second coming of, uh... Second coming of, uh... Looking like Darrell Reeves or Deion Sanders. But he can be good. I think he can be a pro bowler. And I lost because this game sucks. But, uh... Yeah, this is how I'll end this. So, yippee. That was fun. That was terrible. I hated every minute of this game because first I was rushed for time. Then they gave then they gave uh, Cincinnati a ton of time. 
I don't know. That was weird. I didn't like it. Because I had like four offensive drives. And I couldn't do anything, so it was a joke. But fuck Madden. I hate this shit sometimes. It's an absolute joke. But what are you going to do? So, yeah. And you don't complete 70% because you threw like four passes all game. So cool your roll. <laughs> but, um... That's pretty much it. I like Eli Apple. Bruce Irvin's going to go to the Jets, or the, not the Jets, the Jags, or the Falcons. And Russell Okung has a good chance of staying in Seattle. That's what I think. So, uh, that's pretty much it. This is JOX signing off.